Ringo bringing out the card announcing number two. She had uh, the card upside down <laughs> a couple of fights ago for number three, but halfway through, she's very alert. She realized it, flipped it right side up. Everything going very well here at the Forum so far. Good crowd. And uh, this is one of the two fights, really, that they, I guess, were looking forward to being promoted with a local person, Stan Hansard. That's right. Looking at the two corners right now, Hansard doesn't, doesn't seem to be as tired over there. Roy Fortune giving him a couple of words of encouragement over here. And Abercrombie seems to be taking a lot of deep breaths over here. I don't know if it's... I, mean, I don't know if it's nerves or if it's just he's worn out. Uh, your referee now is Dr. Ron Stevens. Jim Corb did the first few fights. Now Ron Stevens is your ring official. He brings him to the center. And now it's Hansard and Abercrombie going back at it. Hansard using his left lot to jab and kind of keep Abercrombie at arm's length. And you can really tell here, still paying attention, you can see uh, Abercrombie very stiff with his with his movements, keeping his elbows up, his arms straight, and hands are very fluid in his movements. Yeah. Sanger hadn't really got any good solid punches in on, on him yet. I mean, he tried there, but he almost stumbled. Looked like he stumbled into Abercrombie. Both fighters pausing a little bit, not really willing to have a big exchange or a big flurry of punches. No, not much inside fighting yet. I mean, the first few fights seemed everything, everybody wanted to get inside and fight, and these two have been staying out. Roy Fortune keeping a close eye on Hansard, hoping his boxer can recover. He's encouraging to, to get into it. Fortune really getting on to Hansard, uh, probably not following the strategy that they'd planned earlier. From the way it looks, he, he wants Hansard to get in there and land a punch or two and then follow up with a flurry, but Hansard's more punching and diving out than anything else. Mm -hmm. Up against the ropes, now back to the center. Both fighters very tentative here in the second round. Hanser had one glance off the face, and Abercrombie swung with the left. Abercrombie's not a quick puncher. Hanser's the quicker puncher, it's just that uh, he's not been able to land any. I feel like every time he wants to get in, Abercrombie's forcing him back out again. Hard to tell what the fighters are thinking in there. You, they're both being tentative, but at the same time, they're they're going in there, I guess, trying to apply their strategy. There's Hanser's strategy Hanser's going right at coming him. Out. Both of them seem to be a little wild here with that exchange. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Hanser, when he went in there that time, he had his head down. He couldn't see what he was swinging at. But that's one of the cardinal rules of any sport is to keep your head up, and especially in boxing, if you're avoiding a blow, you can put your head down. But uh, in this case, Hanser really needs to keep his head up to make sure that Abercrombie doesn't sneak a punch in there. That's right. He's already snuck one in on him. He doesn't want another one. Both fighters landing punches there. Hanser landing another left for the collarbone of Abercrombie. Now they're in the clutch. A few inches up, and that would have been uh, right in Abercrombie's face. That's the end of the second round. Hanser recovered pretty nicely there after being knocked down in that first round.